today's video, I'm going to share with you what's the process to become a taxi driver. And stick around at the end of the video, I'll share with you what happens after you become a taxi driver. So, hey everybody, this is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. And Harry at the Rideshare Guy asked me if I'd like to participate in a little project called What's it like for an Uber or Lyft driver to go and become a taxi driver? What would that experience be like? So I said, yeah, I'd love to do that. So over the last week, I've gone through all the steps, and there's seven of them, uh, to become a taxi driver. And that's what I'm gonna share with you on this video. Step number one is find a taxi company that you wanna work with. Now the process I went through was twofold. One, I drove around and I looked at the different taxis in San Francisco where I drive for Uber and Lyft. And the second thing I did is I went to the internet. Uh, so I wanted a company that was at least somewhat technologically advanced. And I saw this company called Flywheel, Flywheel Taxi. And they seem to have pretty good looking taxis. And they also have an app. So I thought, oh, that's good. That's kind of like a little bit of a crossover between Uber and Lyft. And uh, then I went to their website and they had a great website and they offer some training. And I contacted them and they said, yeah, great, you know, go through these steps. So that's the first step is find a, find a company that you want to work for. Now, step number two is to pull your DMV record and submit it to your taxi company. Okay, so they're going to verify that you have a clean uh, driving record. So there's a couple of ways you can get the DMV, the Department of Motor Vehicles report. One is you can go down to the DMV which usually has a long lines, and uh, I didn't want to go through that. The other is you can go right online uh, and uh, go to the DMV website, and you can request and get immediately your driving record. It only costs $2, and then they send it to you. Uh, uh, you can download it, and boom, I had it, and then I just uh, emailed it directly to my contact at Flywheel Taxi. So that's step number three. So step number three is you gotta find the governing body of the taxi drivers. In San Francisco, that governing body is called the SFMTA, which stands for the San Francisco Metropolitan Transportation Authority. And you go to their website and you, and you do a search for taxi driver, become a taxi driver, and it takes you to a page where you've gotta watch some online training. There's a, a PowerPoint presentation that was about 50 slides, and then there were some other little little videos I had to watch, and then I had to answer some questions, and I had to verify that I, I went through all of the training. So this was really great. You know, I wanted to learn more about being a taxi driver. Um, like, for example, I didn't know that by law, I have whenever anyone hails a taxi, I have to pick it up. I don't have a choice. I can't say, I don't want to pick up that person. I didn't know that, so now I know that. I did learn. Now, the fourth step is on the website, you're gonna to have to download some forms. Uh, one form is your application to become a taxi driver. The second is a form you gotta fill out to get your fingerprint scanned so that people can do a background check on you. And the third form is a drug test form, which you're gonna to take to get your, uh, get your body tested for the, the, uh, the drugs that might be in your body. Of course, you don't wanna have any drugs in your body, that's the whole point. Now, step number five is get in your car and you're gonna to have to go do a little road work. You're gonna to have to go to one of the listed uh, drug testing uh, sites and go leave a specimen with them. They're going to take your document and they're gonna fill out a little bit more of it, their end of it, and you gotta make sure you get that document because you're gonna need it later. Then get in your car and you're gonna to go to one of the fingerprint uh, scanning facilities. Uh, in San Francisco, it was a UPS store and uh, you know they, they take your finger and they put it on glass and they do like that. You know they go press it every single finger, all ten of them. You know so it's pretty serious. And uh, again, they're gonna fill in their part of the paperwork, and you got to get that paperwork back. So you need those three documents: the two that are now filled out, uh, which is the drug drug test, the fingerprint, and also the application to become a taxi driver which is gonna step number six, you're gonna to wanna to wait a couple of days because it's gonna take a couple of days for that drug test results to get turned in. But what you're gonna do is go to the SFMTA's office to the taxi division, and there you're going to turn in your three pieces of paper. And uh, at that point, 
they're going to right there, at least in San Francisco, this is how they do it. It took about 15 minutes. They're going to then create what's called an A card. This is called an A card. So this is my official, I am now authorized to, uh, to legally drive a taxi in San Francisco from now until November 28th of 2019. So I'm good for a year. So that was really exciting. So now I've got this. Now the final step is to get back in contact with your taxi cab company and go through their training program. So this uh, flywheel, they've got a four hour training where they talk about you know the strategies, do's and don'ts, um, you know where you pick up the car, um, how you collect the money, you know you pay what's called a gate. So every day you pay a certain amount to have the car for your shift, the different kinds of shifts that are available. These are the things that are covered in the training. Once you're trained, then you get started. And that's what's next for me. So I have not driven a taxi yet. Um, so I'm very excited about starting next week and seeing what that is like, uh, especially compared to what I'm doing now with Uber and Lyft. And we're gonna look at all of that in upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. This is uh, pretty, pretty exciting for me. And I can't wait to, to share with you uh, what it's like driving for a taxi in San Francisco and then also contrasting that with driving uh, for Lyft and Uber in San Francisco. Thanks for watching. If you've got any comments, lay them down below. If you have not subscribed yet to the Rideshare Guys YouTube channel or, or the, uh, you know, the website where you can start getting emails uh, from us, by all means, go, go sign up. If you are a driver for Uber, for Lyft, for any of the services, you do any kind of deliveries like with DoorDash or Caviar or Ease, any of those, this is the place where you're going to get a lot of information that's going to support you to become better at what you do. Everybody, this is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy saying thanks a lot. You all have a great day. Be safe out there.